Hi, this is exercise one on page 56, and we are identifying nouns in a sentence. So number one, um, we went through these steps. Number one is we put the parentheses around the prepositional phrases. So we have at the store and about gardening, and then identify what we already know, and there weren't any pronouns or conjunctions in this sentence. And then three, ask if the word in question is a person, place, thing, or idea. So I've done number one for us. And I also pulled over the list of nouns. So number, number or A, the word store, is a common noun. It's not a proper noun. It's not a collective noun. It is a concrete noun. It's not abstract or, or countable. It is countable. Yeah, not uncountable. Okay. So then B is proper, concrete, and countable. And C uh, the word book is concrete, common, and countable. So the last word we're looking at is gardening. And gardening is a common noun. Uh, it is not proper. It is not collective. Um, I would not even call it a concrete. It's not something you can touch. Um, it's not, it's an, it is not an abstract noun or compound noun. Um, the reason it's only a compound is because what it really is is a gerund. And I a gerund, all a gerund is, is a verb that acts like a noun. It has an ing on it. And so we go out and garden. And anyway, this is a gerund acting, it's a verb act, and yeah, a verb that pretends like it's a noun. So um yeah, that's A. Let's go to B. So the first thing, let's come back down here, put parentheses around the prepositional phrases. So y'all remember this one? I think we've done this one for lettuce, cucumbers, and peppers. So this one, we only have one prepositional phrase. So identify what we already know. I don't see any, um, any pronouns or any conjunctions. So then we ask the question, and we're going to start with the prepositional phrase because we know Usually the last word in the prepositional phrase is a noun and peppers is a noun. And I lied to you guys, there is a conjunction right there. So let's put that green. All right, but remember our rule, whatever's on the left side of the um, conjunction has on the, the and has to be the same as on the right side. So if we say peppers is a noun, then cucumbers has to be a noun. Remember, it's got to be the same grammatically. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. It has to be the same grammatical structure. I'm having a rough time today. Okay, so if peppers is a noun, then cucumbers has to be a noun because it's the same grammatical structure. So that means lettuce has to be a noun because it's this, these are separated by commas and they're items in a series. So therefore, we have three nouns right there. Now let's go back to the front of the sentence and ask ourselves, do we see a, a word that's a person? Yes, Bob is a person. So we're going to underline Bob. That is a noun. Wanted is an action. What about garden? We, well, gardening is a, is a noun. But a garden, guys, let me tell you a secret. If you see the word a, an, or the in front of it, there's gonna be a noun somewhere in the vicinity. Sometimes it comes after an adjective, but garden is an absolute noun. So there we have it, those are our five. All right, so now we need to come here and Bob is a proper noun and a concrete noun. And garden, I'm going to say it's a common noun. It's a thing, purse. It's a place, even. It is not a collective noun. Uh, it is a concrete noun. You can touch it. Uh, it's not abstract. It's not compound. We could add an S so it's countable. There we go. All right. Now, lettuce, cucumbers, and peppers. I'm just going to put all, they're all the same. So I'm just going to type it in here one time. But lettuce, cucumbers, and peppers are common nouns. Uh, would you say lettuces? No. So lettuce, I'm gonna may not be able to do this. Lettuce is a uncountable noun. 
and uh, it is concrete. So we're going to go ahead and do D because it's a little different. Cucumbers is a common noun. It is a concrete noun, and it's already got an S, so it's countable. And same as peppers. It's uh, the same, very, very same thing. I hope you guys are getting this. This does, it's not real hard, um, but it is, you know, something you kind of have to process through and think through. Okay, let's go to number three. And this parenthesis tells us there are four, um, there are four nouns in this sentence. So the first thing we have to do is we find our prepositional phrases. So I know near the front is a prepositional phrase. Of his house is a prepositional phrase. And beside the road is a prepositional phrase. All right, and then we just go through here and we say, if it ends the prepositional phrase, it has to be a noun or a pronoun. And we know it's not a pronoun because we studied those last, last time. So there we have three prepositional phrases. All right, three nouns there. Uh-oh, we, we lied, there's five. There's five. Okay, nope, there's four. I'm sorry, there are four. I was counting the pronoun. All right, the next thing we do is find what we know. I'm jumping ahead, aren't I? So he, let's do he is yellow. He is a pronoun. And once is an action that only leaves the word garden, I and mean, we've already dis dis discussed that garden is a noun. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna come up here and copy this answer because it's the same for garden. All right, now front, that's kind of a hard, hard one because it really tells a direction, um, but it is a common noun. It's not really an abstract because it's not, it's, it's a, the only reason this is an acting like a noun is because it is um, in a prepositional phrase. Really, it's, it's an adverbial prepositional phrase that tells where. Um, it is not a proper noun. It is not a collective noun. It is not a concrete noun. It is not an abstract noun because it is a place. It's not compound. It is not countable or uncountable, is it? We could say fronts, there's fronts of the store. So it is a, a so I guess we are gonna call it a countable noun, okay. And then house, what do we say? House is common, concrete, countable. Let's copy that. And road is the same thing. All right, let's keep going. Uh, first thing let's do is put our parentheses around our prepositional phrase. On his day, we're just gonna do it like this. Off from his job, at the office, Bob works in his garden. All right, so let's highlight, underline our, the objects, which are obviously nouns. So the word day is a noun, the word job is a noun, the word office is a noun, Bob is a noun, and garden is a noun. So a day, is a common noun. Let's see. It's not proper, it's not collective, it's not concrete, it's not abstract. It's not compound, it is countable. Job is common. It is not proper. It is not concrete or abstract or compound. It is countable. Okay, let's keep going. Office, do we already have office? Office is the same as job, isn't it? Office is the same as house. So one, two, three. Office is common, concrete, and countable. 
And uh, Bob, where's Bob? Proper and concrete. And garden. Common and countable. Okay, we're going to figure out how many there are. Okay, there are 66 possible. That is um, counting all, if you got all of the types of nouns and got all of the nouns. So count up the number you have correct and put those over 66. And let's get a calculator. Over here. All right, so let's say um, you missed one. So 65 divided by 66, that would be a 98%. Let's do another one. If you um, got a 64 divided by 66, that is a 97. So you guys figure out your score and um, put that in there. If you got, and I don't know that you would, but maybe you've taken this course before, but if you have gardening as a gerund, then give yourself two bonus points. All right, we'll see you next time.